Good afternoon, it's Bev at Planet Crochet. This afternoon, I just thought I would share with you what I've been doing this morning. I had an idea, tweaked it a little bit, changed it a little bit, and um, here's the end product. Now, how, what I used was three different colours of Karen Simply Soft. I was doing another project, a scarf, actually, with these two. This was already down here instead of being put away. I tried two strands, so I just tried these two, this last night, and it wasn't stiff, it wasn't stiff enough, and that was just for the base. I was just doing the bottom at the time, and it was very holy. And when you're doing the double crochet stitch, which is the short stitch, that's the UK terminology, it's it's a dense stitch. It's, it's pretty good for um, this kind of project for beanies and things like that but it's very dense stitch it's not holy but it, it was holy and so last night i thought i'll add another one in i had this one spare as i said and i thought they look nice together and the pattern has come out quite nice again i did the bottom i didn't want to do it too small but not too big i think this is just kind of a perfect size for the oddment of your yarn or other things when it came to the bottom, I tried one way that I know you do from the bottom you turn up. Like if you're doing baby booties, you do it in a certain way or you can do it in a different way. And it didn't look right. It wasn't The sides weren't going to stand up or there didn't seem to be much difference from the bottom to the side. So I did this way, which I've done on another project before, and I like this way of doing it. One good thing about when you use things like this, they are eco-friendly, they are washable. Let me get the label. I think you can wash these. It says a light wash. It doesn't actually... Well, 40 degrees says it on the inside of the label. Do not exceed the 40, but I always say 30. Even when I use a different yarn, I always use. I use on a lot of projects, I always say 30 degrees, which most washing machines, I think no matter where you are in the world, do 30 degrees. Definitely on a delicate setting as well, because you don't want to stretch it. As quite tight as it is, it's still quite flexible, and if you do it too hot, it's just going to ruin um, the shape. So that's the information side of it. Again, I, just, I, I, I use what I had to hand. I've, years ago, I watched um, a lady crocheting and she did something, one of these in t-shirt material. And you can buy that from most online stores. I know where I get my yarn from at a store. You can buy the t-shirt, they've just got it in. I'm in Yorkshire, so I, I've just spotted that. But I didn't want to buy anything else in because I need to use what I've got already. I know most crochet and knitters will say, Mm, you don't have to but for me personally I've got plenty upstairs I can use now I know that Karen Simply Soft which is not sponsored by the way does work and it holds up the sides hold up you can see it's slightly it's not perfectly round let's put it that way but it will hold up on its own without those balls of yarning and I think it's kind of cute I haven't finished putting the tails in yet, but that's the bottom. That's the inside. And I think it's perfect for that. For putting your your balls of yarn in there, your little scraps, have it inside of you while you're knitting or crocheting, or you could use it for baby's room. As there's no gauge to this basket, so no matter how you crochet, you if you're tight or loose it doesn't matter you're going to get the same the, the dimensions may be slightly different uh but it's not it's not a necessity that it's, you stick to a gauge i've used three balls of Karen simply soft you can see there's less of that one than the other two i've weighed this basket and it weighs approximately 177 grams so i've divided that by the three that works out to about 59 grams each um, on here. Whatever you've got left, if you had full balls of Karen Simply Soft, 
you're going to be able to make another whole basket which is great again for your money uh, when i buy so come and simply soft here in the uk um it's around about five pounds each ball it's gone up a little bit so say, just say five pounds that's 15 pounds so that's like seven pounds a basket i don't know how much they are in the shops if you bought a yarn one i have not looked at that so i can't say for money if it's if it's worth it but as a crocheter you're going to have some yarn around the house and more likely you are going to have some aran and you can buy cheaper aran i'm not saying use karen simply soft it's what i've got in the house and that's why i've used it so if you use some other aran it may be a little bit cheaper but depending on the size of the ball is whether you're going to get another basket out of it but if you're not bothered about the colors just use your scraps as well you could use your scraps of yarn that you've got lying around the house you could try it so watch out for this i will either do a youtube video on it so you can make your own i may put it on my etsy shop and then i can make one and you can buy it or i may write the pattern out and then sell it again on my etsy store either way you can have the basket however you like it and do it whatever color way you like that's it from me today i hope you're having a nice day wherever you are i uh, it's not too bad here in yorkshire the sun's decided to show itself uh, again after a bit of rain but i'll catch you again on another video bye for now